Okay, gang, this is just a, a quick video to show you the progress that I've made. I've been working off and on on building this kit. It's a two foot by four foot CNC router. Uh, I got the kit from Fine Line Automation. And this is just to show you where I'm at right now. I don't have a bed on it. Uh, I'm not going to do clamps on this one this time. I'm actually going to route out a vacuum plenum. And this is going to be set up for a vacuum table since I cut lots of quadcopter frames and so forth. Uh, a nice machine. It's quite sexy, I would say. Rack and pinion. Lots of speed on it. I've got it set up right now at a modest, I'll say a uh, rather modest, two, uh, let's see, 400 inch per minute rapids, 200 inch per minute cut speed. And of course, there's my router that I use, the Hitachi Variable Speed M12VC. Fantastic two and a quarter horse router. Well, let's start it up. I'm going to do just an air cut just to show you how smooth it is. <clears throat> that's 200 inches per minute. Doesn't look like much, but that's how fast I ran my flat printer when I cut foam mm -hmm. airplanes like this. Of course, your feed rates and and all is uh, it's completely, what I say, dependent upon the material you're using and the substrate you're, you're cutting, uh, the bits you're using, and so forth. Um, I can't ever imagine a situation where I would want to cut any faster than what we're showing here. Uh, just no need for it. Foam is about the fastest. I can cut, uh, this is, let's see, this is about almost four times the speed I would normally cut OPQ frames uh, is what I'm demonstrating right now and yes I can that's how I did it on the old machine yes I can cut this fast almost this fast I can cut three times and now I'm come to the point where I'm not limited by how fast the machine will go I'm uh, now limited by how fast my spindle will turn and this one is maxed out it goes 24,000 rpm It's cutting hinges on a foam airplane right now, aileron hinges. It's going to get with it here in a moment though, we do lots of tabs and slots. that's probably boring just doing nothing just watching the CNC machine exercise but I did want to show you guys this is where I'm at as soon as I cut I got to design and cut the vacuum plenum and after that's done it's a matter of sealing the plenum box with you know some sort of clear probably a thinned down glue and uh, piping in for my shop vac and after that surfacing the table and then start production on items I've got some new plastic in to work on some new multi-rotor frames that you guys might get a kick out of. So, yeah, hopefully that'll come up before the end of the year. Hopefully you guys have got a kick out of this. <laughs> 